Hello. Um, today I'm just pre-videoing. Um, I've got some house cleaning to do, so I wasn't looking my best today. So um, I wanted to put this on early today. And um, so I wanted to show you what we're doing. And this is my version. It's kind of a it's got a twist to it. So I'm gonna be using stew meat, but you're supposed to use a roast. And I got the recipe. Jennifer, but I made it my own and it was actually off of Pinterest and I've kind of tweaked it a little bit. So this is what it's all about, about making everything your own. So um, what I did was, instead of using a roast, I'm going to be using stew meat. And that being said, I'm going to add my vegetables first and I'm going to throw some diced potatoes in and I've got some onions. I'm going to throw those in. And then I've got some baby carrots. It's kind of like a stew. Um, but it's kind of like a pot roast type meal too. So and then I'm going to throw some carrots in. And everybody knows I make a wonderful pot roast. I get that. But I'm just giving it a twist. Okay. So now I'm going to get my stew meat. Give me just a minute. And I usually like to um, do this over the sink. And mine's a little bit frozen today, so which is fine. I don't have to I don't have to saute it down inside the skillet first. And it actually works fine and I'll show you why. Give me just a second, I'll wash my hands. Okay, so to make this my own, um, I have changed a few ingredients. Now, um, I'm going to add um, dry onion soup. I use it a lot, as you can tell. And I'm just going to pour it right over with well, the dry ingredient. Just pour it right over the stew meat. And you're like, geez, it's frozen. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't sautéed or skilled it and browned the sides. I promise you, it's fine. It's going to actually come out so tender, it literally melts in your mouth. And then I'm going to take a packet of brown gravy. Now you can mix this up in a, about, it usually takes about two cups of water um, uh, for all the ingredients. If you want to mix it up inside the two cups of water, it's fine and pour it over the meat. That's fine too. It just depends on everybody's own taste and how they do things. And this is Italian seasoning. Now, I know everybody's seen this on Facebook and Pinterest and everything, and it's really good. So, I am going to pour this over the top. And then I'm going to get about two cups of water. Give me just a second. And then I'm going to pour a little bit on top, not much. I just don't want it to completely wash away. I have a reason why. No, it's mostly around it. Now, it normally calls for butter. Um, but those of us that are really trying to cut back on the fatties and the just watching what we're eating. I changed it up and I'm going to add um, olive oil in it. it it's fine, it's um, uh, probably better for you. And I'm gonna pour a little bit on top of the, um, the uh, dry ingredients. It doesn't stay on there as well. I'm gonna flip this over later. And I usually, it says a whole stick of butter, so I'm thinking a quarter cup, maybe a fourth cup of olive oil, you know, or something. I just pretty much do it to taste. I like the flavor, so more is better, however you want to do it. Now, it does call for banana peppers.
Sorry, I thought I had everything. So I have some banana peppers. And um, they're just, they're not, they're just regular. This is generic. Nothing fancy. Um, as you can tell, mine are just about gone. So I'm going to use what I have. And you just throw them in. I mean, I usually put a good, good amount in it. And if I don't have enough, which I never do, <laughs> I always, they have a little these. So what I do is I just pour the juice in. You can't go wrong. It's just, just a little bit just for flavor. Now, I like to help my, my seasonings out. I love seasonings. and I don't want it spicy. I just want it flavored. So I've got a little bit of garlic. So, uh, it's called granule garlic, not garlic salt. And I just like to add it in there and just kind of sprinkle it around. It's got onions in it, so I shouldn't have to add any other onions or anything like that. Now, I'm going to set this on. Uh, mine is going to sit on for six hours. The longer, the better. Um, and actually, I'm going to, yeah, six hours. I'm going to do mine for six hours today because David's not here. He's at work. So, I'm going to rinse that top off. Now I'm going to show you the inside, what it looks like real quick. And you're going to be like, oh, that's a mess, but it's really not. I want the meat to absorb. I want to look at me. <laughs> Trying to turn it around. Well, I have my um, liner in there. So, and it's not, and the carrots and the potatoes are going to give it a lot of, a lot of water off. So, okay. Now, I'm going to turn that in a little bit, only because I want the meat to absorb the flavors of the seasoning, and it makes a big difference. And then, and then, then by that time, it's going to give it a little bit of time to um, uh, get the water the, from the vegetables built up and everything. If you're at work, and you know, well, Paul, I don't have time to do this during work. I'm going to ha have to set it and go. Just mix it up in your, your uh, two cups of water. Um, and mix your seasonings up and just pour it over the meat and you're ready to go for the day. Now for me, you can do this in two different ways. I've done it without the vegetables and we've done it um, with the French onion soup with the ranch in it. Um, it's uh, Billy's and it's really good. And you can do it with the stew meat or the roast. It's awesome. And what we like to do when I do the potatoes and stuff, and it's kind of a little bit more starchier than normal, but I like to do it over a bed of uh, egg noodles, the way I'm doing it now. Uh, it's really good. It's filling. It's almost a one-pot meal, just even though we're adding the noodles and it's a separate item. I mean, I don't add it into the, into the stew meat or into the roast meat and all that, only because um, you don't want it to take away from the juices. So the egg noodles I usually do separate in a separate pot. All right, um, I will send this out. I hope you'll enjoy it and try it out. It's probably one of my better um, recipes that I've gotten off Jen. She's uh, been sharing hers, I share mine. Um, so I always tweak everything to my flavors, my taste, my ways. So that's what it's about. So talk to you later, bye.